okay, so this is probably going to be my last video of the day. Um, uh, I'm not quite sure how this is going to work, so you know, bear with me. I might have to try this again, but I thought I'd show you my styled costume for that I used in MCM October this year. Um, I'm not going to put it on again because that would be weird, but I thought I'd just show you the various different pieces that I've made and how I put it together. Um, and I can show you some pictures as well of what it looks like when it was, when it was on. Um, the first thing I did I was, make, was to make a helmet. Um, I've dabbled in like making Pepakura stuff before and they haven't gone very well. Um, and I've usually tried to do the paper ones which you then cover with like resin and um, filler and stuff like that and make like a hard shell. And I've seen them done fantastically. They just look so, so good but I cannot do them. I've tried and just failed every single time. So the other option was foam which I thought would didn't seem like a particularly good idea and wouldn't work very well and wouldn't look very sort of like you know professional or whatever um, but uh, after sort of like having a look around on, on the internet and stuff I found a couple of pretty decent ones so I thought I'd give it a go so um, using um, partly a design that I'd seen online that I downloaded and sort of like cobbling a few bits and pieces together myself I made this Star Lord helmet which I think came out pretty well. I tried to follow, find as many pictures as I could. I used a website called RPF, which is fantastic. Loads and loads of people post on there. and So, so helpful with pictures and stuff like that and techniques and everything. Couldn't have done that without, without RPF. It's absolutely brilliant. Uh, and I'm really glad with the way that came out. And you can put it on. That's a pretty decent decent fit it's a good helmet you know it works really well um, the only bits I didn't make out of foam are these bits of the size which are actually bendy straws uh, and these bits there as well which are also bendy straws which I just painted silver and I bought some lenses some like sunglass lenses uh, off of eBay for the lenses which again they, they work I've seen ones um, with much better lenses ones that light up and stuff but I just don't have those kind of skills but that's all just like foam like um camping mat foam on the uh, on the inside and then the outside is basically like this EVA foam so I basically just made the the, the, the initial shell with the, the camping mat foam um, and then I covered it with uh, hot glue and then put this over the top of it um, and then covered it with uh, PVA glue a couple of coats of PVA glue uh, and then painted it, and I found some a pretty decent colour just in a, a Halfords for the for the sort of like grey. It's quite a dark sort of like metallic grey kind of thing. Um, this bit didn't come out particularly brilliantly. I sort of like I mucked that up a little bit, but it, it's okay from a distance. It looks pretty cool, so I'm pretty pleased with the way that came out. Um, yeah. Um, there's lots of other bits and pieces to make, obviously, for the costume. I want to try and make it as uh, authentic as I possibly could. I bought a couple of uh, Nerf guns from the Disney store. They were like £20 each, which I thought was pretty decent. And uh, I took them all apart, unscrewed all the little screws, um, sprayed them all silver, and, and then I sort of like hand painted the black bits. And using again lots of uh, uh, pictures that people had uploaded on places like RPF and just Google Images, um, I tried to recreate all the little scratches. Of where to make it look like they've been that it's been worn it's a, it's a gun that gets used a lot sort of thing the actual um, nerf gun that I based it on when you pull the trigger it pops open this spring-loaded thing action but that's obviously just to fire the darts and I didn't need it to fire the darts so I've, I've taken out that so when you pull the trigger now nothing happens but that's cool I've also used a bit of foam to cover up the holes that were there if you get if you see one of these in the shops and these bits are empty uh, so that it can pop open and fire the darts out. So I basically just cover those bits with foam and then paint it over it. And I've also tried to do the sort of, um, I don't know what you call it, but the, it, when you look at it on the movie, it's got this sort of blue purple tinge to it, the metal at the end, where presumably where it's heated up through the, the, the blast that have come out of it. So I've kind of tried to recreate that. And that came out quite well, I think, and the little gold bits and stuff like that. There's, there's more I could do to make it look more like the one from the movie, but for my purposes I thought that was pretty decent, and I did two of them, so I've got two blasters, 
so that's pretty cool. And they're cool just to have as props as well. I've got a bunch of sort of like marble props from movies and things like that, and it's just nice to have them anyway. So I was very happy with the way that came out. Uh, the next part, I'll show you the boot covers. Now, it appears like he's wearing boots in the movie, and he is to a certain extent. Um, but he's wearing sort of like, like black boots with like these boot covers over the top of them that are called... I don't know, you get them for like for, for like horse riding um, chaps, half chaps apparently. There's different names for them, but half chaps is what I found them under. And again, I found them on eBay, and I found a quite a nice brown leather pair, which I just sort of modified. I cut out bits here, added another bit of brown leather to have the sort of like knee pad bit that's on the boot. And there's another bit that goes over the, the shoe. So I've got a pair of shoes, and I just draped those over basically. And because I've got gigantic chunky thighs, I had to add on a bit of material at the back. But that just kind of makes it look a bit more screen accurate because that's how his are at the back. They're black with like these little clasps holding it all together, which I didn't put on. Uh, and then that just sort of zips up over your thigh. Um, thigh? No. Whatever the low part of your leg is, not your thigh. Anyway, uh, yeah, um, calf. There you go. Uh, and yeah, and that came out quite well. You know, some people hadn't even really bothered to do that, um, but you know, I thought you might as well try and make it as realistic as possible, and, and it looked pretty decent on, so I was quite pleased with that, and again, obviously, did two of them. Uh, what else, what else? I made the, the or I modified a, a backpack, or his um, knapsack, as he calls it in the movie. I thought it was such a good idea to have because going to the convention, you're going to want to ca carry stuff with you, and, uh, and I, I managed to carry like sandwiches and extra bits and pieces in this bag. So I just got a regular sort of brown bag, which doesn't look anything like the one he uses in the movie, really. But it was the same sort of shape-ish kind of thing, and had the same sort of like zip kind of thing on it. And I figured I could possibly just use it as a regular bag, um, but what I needed to do is attach a new strap to it to make it look more like the one from the movie. So you can get these buckles. They don't actually make them anymore, but they're, they're really, really expensive. They're, I think they're like Cobra buckles or something like that, the ones that are used in the movie. There's no way I could afford to get one of those. People were making their own ones. They were, you know, casting them and whatever and charging silly amounts of money for them. I mean, definitely worth it. Obviously, really cool, but I just can't afford that. So I bought just a regular slide clip buckle and... I sort of like painted it to kind of make it look sort of like the one in the movie. It doesn't look exactly like the one in the movie, but it looks fairly, fairly similar. So I was quite happy with that. And I bought all these like bits of leather and made these like rivets to make it look like it does in the movie with the shoulder patch as well. And again, I, I, was, I was quite surprised. Uh, a lot of people on RPF had, had made much, much better ones than me. And I thought I was going to go to MCM and everybody was going to look so much better than mine. And not many people had, had actually done this. So I was quite glad that I, I'd gone to this much trouble and, uh, and, uh, and actually made this. Everybody else's was really cool, obviously. But, you know, I just wanted to make it as accurate as possible. So I was quite glad of the way that came out. Uh, the trousers was a tricky bit. It took me, like, I was literally pretty much the day before, MCM, before I finally found, found a pair of decent trousers. The ones he uses in the movie are almost like motorbike trousers. You can kind of see various sections of them, close-up pictures, where they look like motorbike trousers. And again, quite expensive. My first time doing a costume, didn't really want to spend that kind of money. Um, and so I, I bought these from Primark, sort of like, you know, work trousers kind of thing. And in the movie, his uh, blasters attached to sort of like the side of his leg. So I made these pieces of leather. They've got a bit scratched up over the course of wearing them for the two days. Um, but I sort of sewed those on to the side of the trousers. And I put these clips in as well. And so the idea, i will find the guns again, was that the guns would clip on. And you could walk around with them clipped to the side, which actually worked quite well. And they hang on there pretty decently. They fell off a couple of times, which is a bit annoying. But if you get the clip on nice and snug, which I didn't always do, which is why they fell off. But if you get it on nice and snug, they stay on pretty well. Um, they pulled my trousers down quite a lot because they're quite heavy. But, you know, it came out pretty decent. So I, I was quite glad of that. So I did one of those on either side. And it meant that I could sort of like walk around with the guns, not having to hold them all the time. And just pop them off to sort of like you know 
take photographs and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, they, they, they work quite well. Um, I don't know how I'm going to wash them with these things on. I'm going to have to like hand wash them or something like that if I ever decide to use it again. But it came out quite well. And they were like £15 from Primark or something like that. So that was pretty decent. And I suppose the main thing... Oh, I'll show you this first. In the, the movie, there's a big part of it where he's got this um, Sony Walkman. I've been looking for months and months and months trying to find a Sony Walkman that was similar to the one that he used. The one that he used is pretty much, I think, the first ever Walkman that Sony made. And it's a really nice Walkman. It looks really, really cool. But obviously people realise that, first off, it's a really vintage, expensive Walkman anyway, just because it's one of the first ever ones. But once people realised that it was from the movie, they just put the prices up and they just went for silly, silly money. So I tried a couple of times to get one, but got outbid. And the amount of money people ended up paying, I wouldn't want to take it to a convention anyway, just in case it fell down and broke or whatever. So after trying to modify another Walkman just to make it look like the one from the movie and it not coming out very well, I found some wonderful person online had um, created a sort of like a Pepakura like fold up cardboard box version of it that you could download onto a colour printer and make yourself, which is what I did. And think for my purposes it came up pretty well. I made the, the buttons sort of like, you know, pop out 3D and everything like that. It's got the, the mixtape inside battery cover and everything like that I sort of like rigged a, a flap on the back because I didn't have that so, so I could put it over my belt loop I just did that with like electrical tape um, but that came out really well and you know a couple of people asked me if I had the real tape in there and I was like <laughs> not over you I've not got the real tape in there it's not even a real Walkman from a distance it, it looks pretty cool so I was quite happy with that uh, what else what else what else okay so yeah the main thing was the jacket now I'm really quite pleased with the way this came out. I, I looked, I actually bought a jacket off of eBay, which was terrible. It didn't look anything like the movie. It was a bad fit. Uh, it was just really, really badly done, and I didn't like it. And I sent it back. And then I found this other company in Australia. I think were making a jacket, and they finally got it like a UK distributor. And um, so I got one for them. And I think it cost me like forty pound for a fake leather one. And I figured that. I didn't know really how to paint on leather jackets, but somebody had said that if you get a fake leather one, uh, they're essentially plastic and you can use acrylic paint to paint on them because I wanted to distress it, first of all. And I also wanted to try and get the, the pattern um, that's on the jacket he wears in the movie, um, which I kind of managed to do. It looks a little bit better on the back, you can see it. And again, nobody else at MCM had tried to do this, so again, I was quite proud of myself for trying to attempt it. It's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but the one in the movie is kind of like two tones. It's like darker on the sleeves, brighter on the midsection, so I did that as well. I made it sort of like a lighter red on the back and then darker on the, on the sleeves. Uh, I also added on one of the little arm patches, which I thought was cool. I just made that out of foam and then painted it, so I'm quite happy the way that came out. It's got these little, you know, these little arm bits on it, which is cool. Uh, and I basically just made a, um, a stencil. I don't know where that's gone. I made a stencil, cut out tiny little triangles, and laid them over the jacket. Got like a, a sponge, and I just sponged on on this pattern. And if you, how well you can see that, and it sort of like it kind of worked from a distance. It looks pretty de decent. You can see that there is some kind of pattern on it. As I say, it looks. Came out better on the back, I think, than on the on the front. Um, it's got worn a little bit away from where having the strap across it, but I'm quite pleased with the way that came out. And um, just to show you, that is me with a very lovely Gamora, um, and with a couple more Gamoras. And I say I'm really, really happy with the way it came out. Uh, Gamora, there were a lot of Gamoras there, and I tried to seek them all out and get pictures taken with them, and even a Rocket Raccoon and Groot, which was cool. Um, yeah, another another Gamora, and another Rocket Raccoon, and me doing sort of like one of the poses, not very well. And you can see my trousers are falling down from the weight of the 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 guns which is a little bit annoying um, Princess Leia <laughs> I had to get that done 
Yeah, so that was cool. I had a really, really good time. MCM is, is not a place that I'd normally want to go to because I'm not really much into the manga stuff and the computer game stuff. But I really wanted to try doing these um, cosplay things because everybody seems to have such a fantastic time doing it. Uh, and I met up with a whole bunch of people there, some lovely, lovely people. Uh, first off, did uh, the, the Marvel meetup photo shoot on the steps, which is really cool. And then all the Guardians got together and we sort of split off and uh, did a little Uga Chaka dance um, away and, and took a bunch of pictures with each other, which was brilliant. It was really, really enjoyable. I, I really enjoyed doing it. So it's, it's definitely, I've got the bug for doing it again, which is why I'm going to try and attempt to do the Captain Britain one. Whether that's going to work or not, I don't know. But I've always got the Star-Lord costume, so I can always go Star-Lord again. Um, but yeah, so... Anyway, uh, this has been going on for much, much too long, so I hope you enjoyed that. If, if you did, please subscribe, um, and uh, any comments would be fantastic. I'd rather there not be bad comments, but, you know, I'll take those as well, but good comments would be fantastic. Anything else you'd rather, else you'd like to see would be brilliant. Any questions you have, just, you know, ask below, and uh, thanks very much for that. Cheers. Bye-bye.